If you know anything about design and hacking, then you might be familiar with Brie Pettis, who is the CEO of MakerBot Industries. And today we are in the bot cave to learn more about what you do exactly, Brie. Great to have you here, Ellie. Let me show you the MakerBot. A MakerBot is a 3D printer, and the way it works is it takes filament and it pulls it up into an extruder, heats it up to about 220 degrees Celsius, so it's melty, kind of like a hot glue gun, and then it squirts it out and draws a picture with it. Then it lifts up a little bit, draws another picture in molten plastic, and layer by layer, your object emerges. As far as design and engineering kind of go hand in hand, how has this changed and developed uh, since you first started it? When we first started, having a 3D printer was something really pretty obscure, and you could only really have one if you were an elite institution. But now we've got like 2,300 of these things in the wild. And so now when you want to design something, instead of being, you know, designing something and then waiting two weeks for a prototype, you can just design something, print it out, and be like, oh yeah, I want to make these years longer. Mm -hmm. And then you just make the change, print out another one. So it really takes the design process and just puts it into overdrive. What do you see in the future? What would you like to um, turn the MakerBot into in the next couple of years or so? You know, my goal is to actually get it in the hands of teachers and tinkering parents so that young people can be exposed to this idea of 3D printing. Right now, when you think of getting something, you think of like, where do I have to shop for this? With a MakerBot, you think, well, can I make it? Mm. It sort of interrupts the consumer process. Well, Brie, it looks like there are lots of different parts to this, but they all seem pretty simple. Could you take me through a little bit of the engineering of the MakerBot? Sure. So you get your MakerBot in the mail, and it comes in a box about this big, and you open it up, and it's a lot of pieces. And you put it together, and it's like IKEA furniture. Like when you know those little hex keys you get? Yeah. Well, you get those with the MakerBot, too. Okay. So you put it together, and we put the electronics on the outside because we want people to be able to see how it works. We made everything accessible because we wanted people to like really understand how it works. So you put it together and then you download a design or you design something and then it just builds it up layer by layer. So uh, because this is so portable and light and anybody can use this, are there any humanitarian purposes or uses for the MakerBot? Yes, and it's so awesome when that happens. Yeah. We have a guy who made uh, a name, Cathal Garvey. He lives in Ireland and he made what he called a Dremel Fuge. And it's a centrifuge that you make with a maker botted part and a Dremel. You attach those two things together and you could take test tubes and you could separate white and red blood cells if you needed to. And you know, normally a centrifuge would cost like $1,000, but this is like a DIY solution using maker botted parts and off the shelf tool that you know, could, let, could let a place that doesn't have $1,000 still have a centrifuge. What's the process been like with growing your company from three employees to where you are now? Yeah, I mean, we just started with the three of us and now we have more than 20. So it's just one thing after another. We just try and keep up. People order a bunch of things and when we figure out that we're, you know, we're not sleeping enough, we eventually have to hire more people to help us out. And whenever we come up with a challenge, we just figure a way around it and keep going boldly forward. If people want to learn more about what you're doing in MakerBot Industries, where can they get that information from? They should go to MakerBot.com. We've got a great blog. And they should also check out Thingiverse.com, where people with MakerBots are sharing their designs. That's a really fun place to go check out. Okay, well thank you very much. Great to have you here.